beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogist. I hope you're enjoying a, a brand new video every single day because I've been absolutely loving filming all these videos for you. I do apologise if you hear noise outside. I've got my window open because it is boiling. I'm actually close it a little bit, one second. <laughs> I've took the sacrifice for you and I've closed the window because <laughs> it's actually quite loud. And um, today we are going to be doing my blusher collection. You'll have saw me um, sort this out the other day and kind of change how I organise it and also declutter it. So if you do want to watch that video and see what I got rid of and why and how I kind of came to this weird organisation I've got now, then I will leave that link down below if you do want to go check it out, um, then please do. So, like I said, every single day in August I'm uploading a brand new video, so I'll hopefully see you tomorrow, 6 o'clock UK time, for a new one. Today we're going to do my blusher collection. Let's just get straight into it because I've blabbled on enough as it is. If you are new here, I am Lucy Simpson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really does help out my channel. And don't forget to go enter my huge giveaway linked down below. Let's just get straight into it. So this is my blusher drawer, as you can probably tell. Um, I'm just going to start from the front, I think, and just work my way back. Um, they're not in any particular order. They're really just in the order of what I can see. Um, to be honest and trying to do it so I can see as much as possible so that I use and reach for a lot more. So I'll start from the front. So the first one that we have is this from this one from Make Revolution. I've got a full video testing their Heartbreakers collection. So if you do want to go see that then um I'll leave the video link down below if it's already up. But if it isn't already up then it's coming very very soon. Um, so this is the shimmer blush in the shade Strong. So next we have a Colourpop blusher this is in the shade aphrodisiac the super shock cheek and it's a matte one i don't reach for this m that much because it's one of their like cushiony ones um but i need to start using it more especially since i've got into cream stuff more so yeah i put that at the front so that i remember that it's there we have obviously the famous milani um luminoso blusher i did use this in a tutorial recently I think it's going to be coming soon. It's the video where I kind of answer all of your questions about my career um, and kind of get into the stage where I'm at of, of being training to, to be a therapist. Um, I think it's in that one and I mixed it with a MAC one, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, down the side, I have all of my benefit ones. So you can see that one at the back there as well. Um, so we have a little mini gold rush. We have a full size sugar bomb. We have a dandelion blush, a coralista, California, Havana. We've got two rockateurs, because I love it. <laughs> um, and we've also got Bella Bamba back here as well. Um, underneath these blushes, we have a blush palette by Beauty Bakery. This was at the top of my collection before, but I was using it so much I put it underneath blushes because I'm not reaching for anything else. Um, so this is the piece of cake blush palette where you get the three different shades in it. Absolutely love it. I got it in like the January Christmas sale. We've got a Lancome blush. This is the Rose Sable number two, which just looks like this. Um, and then obviously we have the Milani one, Milani, Milani one. <laughs> Um, we have this one, which is actually from the pound shop. This is the um, Miss Beauty London blusher, and this is in the shade number four, Toffee. Really, really nice blusher, like especially for a pound, like so, so nice. Um, so I don't know if you can see, I've got a little container down the side here. Um, this has, I don't know, just my tart ones, some cream ones, some MAC ones. I just need just somewhere to put this, to be honest with you, and don't know where else to put it, because it doesn't fit into any of my other drawers. Um, I was thinking, I'm going to be able to see myself, I ideally would have preferred to put it in, in this drawer, which is like bronzers, highlighters, and then like just extra bronzers and highlighters, um, as you can see. But it just wouldn't have worked because I just have too many of them. Ooh, that's my, my primer drawer. I'm going to be going through all of these drawers, um, by the way, throughout August. Some of them will already be up. I think I've done my lipstick one um, and my foundation one by the time that you're watching this one. So I'll leave them linked all down below. But I have a huge playlist um, of just like makeup collection videos and declutters. So I'll leave it linked down below for you. But anyways, so let's see this little container that we've got on the side. Let me move it back a little bit. So we have some tart ones here, which I don't really reach for all that much. Um... I think I need to start using them more to appreciate them. So we have the Amazonian Clear 12 Hour Blush in Sincere, 
which just looks like this. I'm sorry if this lighting isn't the best. I'm just using lateral lighting at the moment. And it's currently like 20 to 7 on a Saturday night. Um, so I'm not too sure if it's going to be the best. But we have this one, which is a surprise. Then we also have Supreme. Like this. And then last, but so not least, we have Stella. Just a bit more peachy. I don't actually know. Oh, it's got a bit of a shimmer in it. Oh, there's plastics in there. I don't actually think I've used that one. <laughs> um, so after this, we have two cream products. Um, oh, just knockages. This is from the brand Sothies or Sothies. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a spa brand. Um, it just looks like this. I was kind of gifted it when I went to, um, I think it was like an event that we went to. Like, uh, I can't remember what it was, like a convention or something. Um, but this is the cream blush in um, number 30, De Rose. I'm going to try and pronounce that. I don't even know if that's even focusing. Um, but yeah, that's that one. Then we also have this one from Illamasqua, which is a really old one, but one that I also don't want to um, get rid of yet. And it still smells all right. So it just looks like this. This is the cream pigment in Androgen. So it just looks like this. So you can use that obviously for lips, for blush, for eyes, whatever you want. Then we have my MAC ones to the side. So we have, to begin with, we have the shade Burnt Pepper, which um, I think I mentioned this in my Declutter video. This is actually one that I bought to use as an eyeshadow because P. Louise used it as an eyeshadow. Um, I think I've only maybe used it once or twice as that. Um, so I'm going to try to see what it's like as a blusher. Um, because it's, it's just not getting used. I actually bought it off Depop, so I didn't buy it full price. Um, I bought it off Depop off somebody. Um, then we have this one in the shade Royal Sunset, which is one of their satin powder blushes, which just looks like this. I'm not sure if the camera's washing that out a little bit. Then we have this one, which is one of my favourites. This is Melba. I think this one's matte. Yeah. Melba. So the other day when I... I mean, it's, I don't know if it's up on my channel yet, but it'll be coming soon. Um, I mix the two together for that video where I kind of answered your questions about my career whilst I like, kind of getting ready and stuff. And then last but certainly not least is this one, which is Dolly Mix, which is a sheer tone shimmer blusher. I used to be obsessed with this. Like, look how dark that is. I used to be obsessed with it though. <laughs> so that is my little MAC collection. Um, so we also have the number seven blusher, which I absolutely love. This is the Apricot Blossom Powder Blusher, which just looks like this. I actually bought this when me and Blake went to Chester. Um, I think it was Chester. I'm sure it was Chester we went to. And I'd actually left my blusher at home. I forgot to bring blusher. Um, so I had to, unfortunately had to buy a new one. <laughs> so I picked up this one for number seven and just fell in love with it. I was really impressed. Um, I only literally got it because it was on a three for two and I needed foundation because I think I forgot my foundation and my blusher. I don't know how I managed that. Um, then we have the Wet n Wild one. This is the colour icon apricot in the middle blusher. Um, one that I wasn't really impressed by, to be honest with you. Um, just looks like this. Super, super sparkly. I am going to be doing a full video testing cruelty free makeup this month as well. So I think Wet n Wild would be quite heavily in that just because obviously they are cruelty free. Underneath the Wet n Wild we have this bad boy which I spoke very very fondly about in my um, blusher declutter video. This is the Estee Lauder blusher in the shade 01 Tees. This was a limited edition blusher. I'll leave the story because I, <laughs> I said the full story in my declutter video so I'll leave that for you to go have a look at. But this is limited edition. Zoella was obsessed with it. It was just one of them blushes that everyone wanted and I managed to get my hands on it and it's just one that I don't really reach for but it's one that I don't think I would ever get rid of unless it went like really 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 disgusting um but yeah it just brings back good memories Come back there next to that we have this one which I said that I would th think about maybe selling or think about trying and I haven't decided just yet this is the NARS the multiple um cream blusher in orgasm so this is I don't actually think I got it out when I did my declutter video I'll show you what it actually looks like because obviously you all know like oh it's all like it's like really in there isn't it you all know like obviously um NARS are so famous for their orgasm blush like they brought like a full range basically of it um so this is just a, a little mini which is just like this oh. and then I don't think it's been 
used and it just looks like this. I'm sorry if this auto focus has not been the best. I've been trying to flap around a bit during this video. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to get into cream blushes, so I think I'm gonna give that a go. I'm gonna keep it out of the box actually to encourage me to give it a go. I'll put that in my recycling bin. And next to it, we also have another cream blush. This one is by Pixie. Um, this is the Pixie by Petra Multi Balm. Why well, can't I pronounce things? Multi Balm Baby Petal um, Cream Blush. I think this isn't focusing again, is it? Is it? I don't know what's happening. Um, which just looks like this. Still smells okay. I don't think I'll be able to use this for much longer. To be honest with you. That's a bit more of an actual representation of what it looks like. Um, but I do really, really like it. And you can obviously use that as a lip product as well. That's just what it looks like. Um, so, even more so behind that, we have a Elizabeth Arden Pure Finish Radiant Bronzing Powder in the shade Warm. I got this for, I think it was like 9 99 in TK Maxx. It was like reduced. And obviously it says bronzer, but it's in here because look at it. Like, girl, that's not a bronzer. Like, that is shimmery. Like, I don't do shimmery bronzers. So I put it in my blusher drawer because I would use this more as, like, a really warm kind of blusher. And obviously, it's got the little pink touches as well. So, yeah, that's in my little blusher one. Underneath it, we have some sleek, oops, some sleek blushes. So we have this trio, which I fell in love with in lockdown because it was in my bag when I went to Blake's house and um, I'd like packed up all of my kind of makeup and stuff. And I only took like one bag of makeup with me, um, which is what most people have. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been using this and I absolutely love it. I didn't think it'd be one that I would be so in love with, with it being quite orange. Uh, apart from the middle shade, which is a bit like orgasm, to be fair. Um, but the other two are quite orange and it actually looks really, really, really nice on the skin. We have two from the Avon. This is the MAC range. Um, these are two that I'm just going to have a little play around with and then maybe probably going to get rid, rid of. Especially, I think it's this one, Soft Peach. Yeah, like that is such a light shade like if you compare it to the number seven one it doesn't really give that much to the skin i mean especially compared to to that one i mean look how shimmery that one that's beautiful and um, the second one is in the shade blushing blushing berry um as well so i'm gonna see what it's like the peach one is also shimmery i don't know if you can actually see that on the camera but it is also shimmery too then we have some cream blushes from the MAC Avon range as well. This is Pink Melon and Sheer Strawberry. So we have Pink Melon and then Sheer Strawberry. Quite intense, darker shades for blush, like for cream blush. But to be fair, it normally, a like cream blush normally blends out so naturally that you would be able, like look how easy that just kind of blended into the skin, that you would be able to, to use on colours with like my kind of complexion. Back here, we have another one that is labelled as something else, but it's in my blusher drawer. This is the Makeup Revolution Bleeding Heart Baked Highlight, um, which looks like this, which is exactly why it's in my blusher one, because it is basically just a pink and gold shimmery heart. Like, I could not use this as a highlighter, so it's in my blusher, in my blusher collection instead. And behind it, we have a little mini Rocketeer, because obviously... I don't want to start using my mini when I've got like two full size ones already on the go. And then back here is a Galan one, which I'm just going to leave in the tub because um, I can't bother getting it out. But if you want to see it um, and kind of a bit of a story behind it and why I won't get rid of it, then that's in my um, declutter video. Next to it, we have one from Primark. I would not pass this, this blusher up, I swear. <laughs> and so I don't really like honestly try it. Um, or if you don't want to try it, try the little Miss Beauty one from the pound shop because it's so good and so, so affordable. So this is the blush in the shade Drama. This is £1.50. Just looks like this. I think it's actually cruelty free. Is that cruelty free badge? Ooh, that could be one that I could use in my video as well. I haven't filmed it yet. Another one that is said it to be a highlighting powder, but it would be something that I would more so used as like a really really light blush um and quite a shimmery one maybe like a blush topper or something instead um but yeah that's that one um and obviously that was from soap and glory we have two of the single 
blushes from Sleek. We have just one of their normal ones. This is the rose gold one. So this is the one that's meant to be a dupe for the NARS orgasm. Like if you remember like old school, I've got a hand up now, there we go. Old school like blogger times um, and like just old school YouTube times really. Like everyone would have this and they'd be like, oh, it's a dupe for, for orgasm by NARS. Um, so that's the sleek rose gold. And then the other one is from the Aqua collection. This is the mirrored pink blusher, which I don't know why this is so hard to open. Oh, there we go. And just looks like this. So this one's a bit more of a purpley tone. Um, what is that? Oh, it's my camera. <laughs> oh, God. Um, back here, we have some Ted Baker ones. Um, so we have... Obviously, these are from the Christmas collections. I wish that Ted Baker would just launch a makeup brand because their makeup can actually be really good. Um, so I feel like they're missing out so much, but hey-ho. So the first one, this is their blush palette which just looks like this. And then there's these two bigger palettes. So this one has obviously like a shimmery bronzer and a shimmery blush in it. And then this one, I think this is a trio, this one, yeah. So we have a lighter blush, a highlighter, and then a darker blush as well. But I'm sure, because I've done videos testing these, um, and I'm pretty sure that I just mixed all of them together, to be honest, and just had a really shimmery um, blush on. Let's pop that back there. And then last but certainly not least, it looks like we're just left with this one from Benefit, which I didn't mention before. Um, this is their One Hot Minute. It's base, It's meant. I think it's meant to be like a, well, it says it's a face powder, but it's you can't get it anymore. It's more like a shimmery, loose highlighter, but a really, really dark one. So I would use it more so as um, a shimmery kind of blush in a way to kind of just like bronze up the skin but yeah you can't get it anymore and when i try and open it it just goes everywhere so i'm gonna have to open it one time when i've got like a towel down so i'm not ruining everything but that is my updated blusher collection as you can see i've got quite a lot i've got way too much for for what somebody needs but compared to other youtubers i probably have a tiny amount um as well i'm really happy with my collection i do feel like i'm missing like I don't have like a staple, probably my benefit ones are the ones that are my staple ones that I always reach for. I don't really reach for my MAC ones all that much or even my Tarte ones really. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I don't really have like a, a full like die hard kind of one. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my little collection. Um, if you are new, like I said, don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to enter my giveaway, which is long on the screen at the moment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll hope to see you tomorrow for a brand new video in Vlogist. Love you so much. Bye.